Alrighty y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna go over my top five combos, my top five lose combos that you should add to your arsenal. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Alrighty y'all, Lou here from Beyond the Bounds. This is a channel geared towards bass fishing, gear reviews, tournament footage. So if you like that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Also, do me a solid, head over on Instagram and check me out on Beyond the Bounds Outdoors. I post a lot of my, you know, going ons and, and so forth, traveling to tournaments, etc. So, you know, if you'd like to follow along with that, in the meantime, when I don't post videos, go smash that follow over on Instagram at Beyond the Bounds Outdoors. Let's get into today's video, which is talking about those five combos that I think you really need to have in your arsenal. Now, as you know, I'm pretty much a lose fanatic. I'm a lose nut, as, as many of you out there are. You know, when you find something that is quality at a decent price, at a good price in a lot of things, you want to stick with it. And it's something that you begin to to really trust. And when you can trust in your gear, then you know, you're, you're taking one of those variables out of there. And let's start off with this Lose Custom Speed Stick. This is a uh, seven foot, six inch speed stick that, you know, is, it's in a medium heavy. It's the Magnum Crankbait 2 rod. Now this is a rod and reel combination that's gonna allow you to throw a variety of uh, treble hook variations, you know, all the way from rattle traps to 8XDs. I've thrown 6XDs on this and it doesn't bend very much at all when it's fighting that, which is a very important thing with a crankbait rod because if you've got too much bend in let's say like a moderate fast type uh, type situation, it's going to bend a lot. And then you're going to be sitting there kind of fighting against that bend. You know, it, it'll really help you to have the right rod and reel combination to throw those. But again, this is going to be able to throw everything from a rattle trap, square bill, baby one minus, all the way up to an 8XD, which is why I'm recommending this Magnum 2 crankbait rod paired with a tournament MB reel. Now for me, I fish left-handed. Tournament MBs actually come in a lower gear ratio, uh, 5 to 8. This is actually a 5 to 4. I don't know if that one's available anymore, but it's a 10 ball bearing. It's a really uh, light reel, even at 6.7 ounces this combo pairs together very well and is very light. You can also throw spinner baits on crankbait rods. Actually, I'm a huge fan of throwing spinner baits on rods like this. So if you're needing it for, you know, a really long spinner bait cast and rod, I was blown away with how well this tournament MB casts at a $149 price point. It's a phenomenal reel for that. Now you can absolutely find them for cheaper than that. Go on eBay and, and look, because you can find these for brand new for under $100. The prices that I'm giving you are just the prices that uh, Lose puts on their website. But the reason I like, again, the slow reel is because, you know, that takes another variable out. I'm not worried about how fast I'm reeling. I like to use a reel to do that, to, to slow me down and, and take that variable out of there so that I'm not reeling too fast. And in the five to eight, that's gonna be a really good slow roll type presentation that you can throw on this rod and reel combo. So let's get into the next combination, which is my brand new flipping combination for 2019. All right guys, so this is a brand new combination for me. It is not one that I had on my boat last year. And I've already taken this down to Florida and just been blown away. One, because you know, this is the new TP1 Black Series. You know, this came out at ICAST. This is a seven foot, four inch, heavy, fast action rod with loose wind grips on here and they're black wind grips. So they're not gonna show kind of that wear and tear that the other TP1 Series rods would show on the, uh, the handles and everything, which I highly still recommend those series. Matter of fact, I did a whole video on the TP1 series multi-purpose rod. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But back to this combination, I've got this paired with a Hypermag. And wow, when it comes to the weight combination of this, one that it's a seven foot four inch, 
but two, you add this team lose hyper mag in either an eight, three to one, seven, five to one gear ratio. Again, left-handed, good wind grips on the, the handle there. This is a, an incredible combination that's really light. The rod retails for about 129. The, the reel goes for 299 and you know, this reel paired with this is a light, light combination. And if you're like me, you're, you're fishing grass on the Potomac, maybe you're fishing down in Florida, Florida grass, Gunnersville, wherever you're fishing, you know, having those light combinations, but in a heavy meat stick of a rod, a flipping rod, something that you can throw, you know, all the way up to a one ounce type weight. Matter of fact, this is weighted for 316 to one and a half ounce uh, weight, 65 pound braid. You know, you can throw that on this. It's got microwave, but this reel, when you put this on there, and I know that, you know, these reels are, are a little pricey, but it, it's, it's worth it when, when you can have such a light combination in a heavy, in a heavy stick, it's really worth it to have that because some days that's all you're going to use. And I like to have a lot of good meat behind and power behind setting those hooks on fish. I don't want it to be to where I didn't have enough power to get that hook set on that long cast or that flip to haul that fish out of there. You know, 20 pound drag system on these reels that can definitely hoist those fish out of heavy cover. <laughs> but that key advantage of that hyper mag is that 5.4 ounce weight. So if you're looking for that heavy presentation to add to your arsenal, to really rip those fish out of those trees, those heavy covers and everything, look for this TP1 series, the black. So if you've been with my channel, you've probably seen my review of the TP1 series of Lose rods. Now I have this paired with a Lose custom speed spool. It's about $179 reel. Again, check the prices around. You may be able to find them cheaper. Uh, you know, head to tacklefreaks.com. You'll be able to find a lot of these good products that I'm talking about at tacklefreaks.com. And <clears throat> this is the multi-purpose rod. Now, this is a rod that as a co-angler, I'm always taking with me. I bought this to primarily throw chatter baits. Now I'm gonna be replacing it with a new chatter bait rod that again, primarily will throw my chatter baits on, but this is still that rod and real combination that has done me so much good this past year in 2018. And it's one that I, I highly recommend to everybody because it's a multi-purpose rod. This is a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod that has a lot of good features to it between the, the wind grips to the wave guides uh, from American Tackle Company. And when you pair this with this seven five to one gear ratio, Leap lose custom speed spool. It's a really good, really lightly paired combo. And this combination, the, the true power to this combination is that it's gonna throw anything and everything. Square bills, spinner baits, jigs, chatter baits, anything that you can think of that you need a rod to be able to throw that's gonna throw multiple variations of presentations this rod is going to be able to do it. And as a co-angler, that's very important to have that so that you can change something out real fast and, and throw it and then bam, that's not working. Change it out, throw it, and you're not having to bring the variety of rods. I mean, so if you're looking to, to get a multi-purpose rod, check this one out. TP, the TP1 Black Series also has a new rod that really matches the same specifications as this, and that's the TP1 B70 Medium Heavy. Uh, so look for that one, go on the website, check out the different specs. Luz really lays it out, uh, the different presentations that rods are really designed for, but you know, the multi-purpose again is gonna throw anything, anything that you need, especially if you're a bank angler, this thing, you know, is gonna, gonna be that one rod real combination that you can take with you everywhere, uh, especially when you pair it with, you know, the uh, SLP super low profile design that Luz has that really allows you to get a very comfortable palming and, and handling of these reels. All right, so I really wanted to give you a rod and reel combo in this segment that is, you know, affordable in, in a sense. Granted, the reel that I have paired on this is a $199 reel, but this is the 
Hank Parker Signature Series Speed Stick. Now this is a rod that I have fished extensively. It's a rod that I've done another complete video on. So if you're interested in this, you can find that video on my YouTube channel. Just, uh, you know, maybe I'll post up a picture of it and go check that one out. But what makes this rod so fantastic is one, the weight of it to the price of it. I mean, it's super light to begin with, but it's quality construction. I am eight blank and it's a $40 rod. And it's a rod that I used every trip that I went out this year uh, because I you know, have a key presentation that I throw on it and it, it really just, you're blown away. And, and so many people have commented about this rod and it, it shocked me that, you know, I've had people been like, man, I went out and bought six of these things because I loved it so much. Um, now, I'm not going to say that the guides are the, you know, highest quality of, of guides. Uh, absolutely not. But you know what? All of my guides are still fine. I've used this for, what, two years now? And it's still going strong. Uh, I don't pair it with braid, but uh, what I do have it paired with is a Lose Tournament Pro Speed Spool. LFS series and this reel is a very comfortable reel. Uh, I th it seems like it's almost smaller at times than the SLP series, but this rod in particular is the worm and jig rod. Now this rod, uh, the reason I'm, I'm recommending it is because you can throw a little bit heavier of a fluorocarbon or a little bit lighter. Matter of fact, I would actually recommend a little bit lighter of a fluorocarbon, maybe go in that 10 to 12, throw a little bit lighter of a finesse technique, maybe an eighth ounce, quarter ounce uh, type flipping technique that'll allow you to trigger bites in tough situations. Plus just the weight of this alone as a seven foot rod uh, in a medium heavy, and it, this medium heavy is a powerful medium heavy. It's a medium heavy fast, but it's got a real good power to it. And you know, again, everything differs in that action. Sometimes you get rods in real combinations that, okay, they say they're extra heavy or they say they're extra fast or they, you know, they don't always necessarily stand up to that. But for this one, the medium heavy acts more like a little bit stiffer than a normal medium heavy. So, you know, take my mock crush, you know, by all means, the, the comparison, it's an IM8 blank, that's an IM8 blank. However, these medium heavies have a, just a little bit more power to them, a little less bend in that, that tip, a little less, less action that really allows you to get a little bit more powerful of a hook set, even when you're using, say, like a light Texas rig finesse technique, which I've got tied on here, um, to where it is, you get that little pop to it and that tip doesn't bend so much so that it really sets that hook home for you. And that's what I liked about this rod. Um, fact is that I could fish jigs on it. I've fished jigs down in Texas, pulled fish out of cover, oh. heavy cover, and this rod has allowed me on, to do that. And I'm oh, again paired with the, the Lose Tournament Pro Speed Spool, which is a six to eight gear one ratio, which allows you to throw a variety of things on this because with that gear ratio, you can throw in, in slow roll and start to slow roll, you know, spinner baits, uh, swim jigs, things of that nature. This will allow you to do that. And at, you know, six, 6.5 ounces, it's a phenomenal reel to pair with this. This also kind of fits into that all purpose category. You know, as you can see for the top five combos that I've recommended, I'm gonna give you two that are kind of all purpose. I would say this is pretty much all purpose because I've thrown square bills on it um, and it's worked really well. I've thrown jigs on it. I've thrown Texas rig presentations. Uh, so, you know, medium diving crankbaits, a lot of those presentations you can throw on this. Just be careful with what you pair it with. Don't pair it with braid uh, because I don't want you to go through and start cutting out the guides. If you do that, it's going to last you a long time. And at the end of the day, guys, it's a $40 rod. Some people have even found them for $30 at Walmart. So if you break one, if it breaks, eh, I mean, really, what are you out? You're not out much. You know, spend your money, get you a good reel and pair it with this uh, with this rod and some light line, you're going to feel some ticks from fish that are really far away and you're going to know they're there. So highly recommend this rod and reel combo. All right, guys, last but not least, I'm going to give you a spinning rod combo here. And this is the Team Lose Custom Pro Speed Stick uh, Tube Special. Retails at about $219. Now, again, shop around. You may be able to find them. Head to Tackle Freaks and, and see what they carry there. But 
Overall, I've spent a lot of time with this rod and reel combination as my drop shot combo. Now I'm gonna do another video that's solely about this rod and reel combo and why I picked it as a drop shot combo, but let's get into some of the specifics for this. This is the TLCP TS uh, seven foot two. It's a medium moderate fast. Now I wanted that moderate fast to absorb those hook sets, those open hook sets, especially with drop shot combos that you see that I have here. Matter of fact, Biospawn makes one of my favorite drop shot worms uh, right there. But back to this, it's got a really good pickup in this TLP 2000. Now, I don't think they're really making these TLP 2000s, which I think the newer reels have a lot smoother of a drag than this. Um, and they've made some, some significant upgrades. And Luz has definitely recognized that they needed to make some significant gains in their spinning gear. And these performed flawlessly for everything that I needed to. The, the drag, I thought the drag could be a little bit smoother. So that's why I'm thinking with this next year's iteration in the Team Luz Custom Pro, which is valued at a, or priced at about $129.99. I think those new spinning reels are gonna be far superior than these. Although if you find one of these at a good price, snatch it up because you know, for me overall, it's been great. I don't spend a lot of time with a spinning reel in my hand, but you know what? We should all spend a lot of time with spinning reels in our hand because it, they catch big fish no matter where you're at. You know, the new, the new Team Lose Custom Pro uh, speed spins are actually gonna be about 8.8 .8 ounces. And I recommend getting, you know, the fastest gear ratio that you can is six, two to one. You really need to catch up with those fish. But this rod and reel combo has been fantastic. And it's gonna throw a variety of presentations. I think there's enough power in this rod. Well, like I said, it's a medium, moderate fast action, but it's weighted for eight to 30 pound test line, a quarter to five eighths ounce. And it's really gonna handle um, any type of tube presentation known as the tube special. But also if you were throwing like weightless worms, uh, maybe a ribbon tail culprit worm or something like that, it'll be able to set that hook on, on that fish at a decent distance and, and drive that home. Or if you wanted to throw wacky rigs on this thing, it's gonna be able to do that. And that's what I like about this rod, which is why I'm recommending it because it really will throw a variety of finesse techniques. And the guides on this really work well with uh, when you're using braid to a leader, it's uh, pretty quiet when it's coming through these guides. The Team Lose Custom Pro Speed Stick is definitely one that I would recommend this spinning reel, rod and reel combo here. Again, pair it with the Team Lose Custom Pro Speed Spin and you're gonna be, you're gonna be pretty happy with the way that it performs overall. It's been a great rod and reel. I primarily use it as a drop shot rod because I've got others in my, uh, arsenal that I utilize for, you know, wacky rig presentations, heavy worm um, presentations, something like that, micro light kind of presentations. And, and that's what I use those for. So this one stays primarily 99% of the time. It's always got a drop shot on it. All right, guys, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video talking about the five combos that I think you should really have in your arsenal. This is definitely heavy on lose because I'm pretty much a lose fanatic ever since I started uh, purchase and lose products. I just, it, I became blown away by the quality and pricing of their products. So that's why I've gone to all lose in my arsenal. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching this video. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.